and he's trying it again. So, you know, at this point, it's a sort of a Hell's Highway thing. Um, like, you know, there's so many vehicle corpses that the existing vehicles are blocking the new coming vehicles. Oh shit, you got a minesweeper. And Lollibo reporting very important information to me. Um, but yeah, you see our points just ticking up very, very high. That's very normal in front lines, because when they are the defenders, their points are going to tick up very high. And big mistake by my opponent here. Um, that was really funny, hitting the mines at the end. He sprinted past me. Sprinting is a very, very dangerous activity, because your men will not stop and fire at enemies while sprinting, and that means they are very happy to get themselves killed. Um, and so most of his men got killed running past me, and the rest of them just hit by Why is this mine clearing vehicle so good? Lollipo asking completely nonsensical questions, and owned tank drives right into a minefield, so he is likely detract, if not very hurt, and so I decide I'm just going to run up there and nail him with an AT grenade, and luckily somehow I get sight. Um, and look at that. we kaboom. I killed a tank crew, but I don't think I killed the tank. Yeah, I just contused the crew, and I'm trying to find an <laughs> AT grenade to fire at this guy, and I guess I did. I wasn't watching, but another one, second one, still does not kill it. Um, look at that one, desk stuff cumulative launcher. Yeah, good luck. Um, yeah, yeah. As Lollibo mentioned, Churchills have ridiculous armor. Fucking cunt. Um, this is a R-rated shoutcast. Um, it's got quite a bit of armor, and so I'm just like looking anywhere for AT grenades, and I realize, hey, while I send that guy over to find some, I have a bunch more submachine gun infantry dudes, so I'll just do that. And of course, I've already stripped that guy there because I'm a scavenger. Um, and this guy almost gets himself killed, but doesn't. Uh, this time I decided to tra target the engine, because twice on top, clearly not doing the job. Um, unfortunately, I keep not having sight, and then I finally get sight, and eh, kaboom, that's what it takes. So, look. Normally, top hits are pretty good to destroy a tank because the top armor is not very strong. But if you're hitting the turret, um, often the turret does not discriminate in its top armor. Its top armor is just as strong because it's just the same thickness everywhere. Because um, you get a lot of glancing hits sort of on the top of the turret. So, really target the engine if you have any sort of chance to like pick your target. Um, I had as much time to line up shots as I wanted, and um, like this a little flat gun from Malibu. Um I had as much time to line up my shots as I wanted, so really should have been hitting. I'll just be the weakest link. Really, yeah. L I'm, I'm yelling at Lollipo because he's losing his left point, and I'm like, dude, protect it. And he's like, eh. Someone's got to be the weakest link. Um, but yeah, really, if you have a choice, aim for the engine of a tank. That will almost always. I'll just stand off it. You shall not pass. Uh huh. Um, engine of a tank almost always the most vulnerable part. In fact, always the most vulnerable part. I'd say, I mean, I've seen tigers survive like three, four, f Don't worry, I've got the left defended. three, four, five. Eight. <laughs> I was like, I'm glad you have the left defended, but he's already taken your point, so I don't give a shit. Um, yeah, I've seen tigers take like three, four, even five hits to the top armor, um, hitting their turret, but um, probably would not have survived that to the engine. So tanks can be really tough because um, AT grenades pack a bit of a punch, but um, they're not the be-all end-all. They're not like bazookas or something. They're just lots of explosives on the stick. They're not a special penetration thing. So I think there actually were some special penetration AT grenades, especially that the Germans designed. You like throw them up in the air and then they sort of go straight down or something. I don't know. Um, this guy's gonna get screwed at the tank season, but he's prone, so I'm trying to get him out of there. And almost dies, but doesn't. That's good. So I'm doing pretty well here on the right. Lollibo not quite as much. Admittedly, I think I have a slighter, easier area to defend. This is a very narrow corridor, as I pointed out before. And um, he's just getting bogged down. <laughs> My mines are still killing shit. Look. And yeah, that's often what happens in front lines. You'll lay out a lot of mines, and they'll just be killing things till the cows come home. That's very nice. Um, I realize that this stupid pillar is once again blocking me, so I just fire through it, and that doesn't hit. <laughs> I placed those mines like a year ago. And someday I will knock out the Sherman is my hope. But um, until then, I'm trying to hold off these commandos. It looks like, yeah, commandos. And this time he doesn't sprint and manages to kill some more people. My stupid thing is not firing, presumably because that pillar's in the way. Um, and this Sherman is very difficult to hit because I'm hitting its turret at an oblique angle and kind of just not really penetrating at all. So. Um, if he gets closer, I'd have a much better chance, but as it stands, I'm sort of making my last stand here, um, buying a bunch of riflemen, just trying to hold off this wave of infantry, and I hope my pack 40 will do the job. Um, I buy the riflemen partially because I can set up some sandbags, and I also bought a machine gunner, you might see. He's I just want to see his firefly walk into one of my AT Sort of in the middle. Unfortunately, the Sherman kills quite a few of my riflemen. And um, I do manage to lure the Sherman up forward, though, and hopefully Mr. Pack 40 will make himself useful. 
firing through that stupid pillar. Someday that pillar has to collapse. I fire like eight shells through that thing. How's that work? Um, what am I looking at over there? I don't know. Lollipop said something about a firefly. I wasn't listening. Um, presumably I was listening when I was playing. Out. Stupid, stupid pillar. Like, if that pillar wasn't there, the AI would be killing the Sherman, but now I have to direct control everything owned. I think I'm destroyed. I actually would have preferred to destroy the turret because that takes longer to fix and probably would have killed some people. I actually did not kill anybody in that Sherman. Um, I don't know how I destroyed the main gun without killing the guy on top because it seems like it would have had to go straight through his abdomen, but I'm not going to quibble. Um, whether those commandos. Yeah, his Sherman is going to be out of commission for a while repairing that main gun, although frankly he could attack me without the main gun. Um, I realize belatedly that I should probably get behind this tank. Um, but yeah, he's... It must be really frustrating to be that right now. And Lalibo is definitely right, but don't worry too much about our opponents, because of course we will have to do the same sort of attack after this. Um, I don't see any heavy tanks. You're supposed to get like a super low well armor tank. I, th I think I was saying something about how they're doing pretty well, and Lollibo was saying, no, they're not going getting good tanks, but a um, bit of a mistake on my opponent's part, um, not moving a Sherman back far enough to repair it, um, but um, he got lucky that I did wasn't able to kill it. Um, once again, the top armor, not often very bad on the tank's turret compared to the rest of the tank, so I really should have gone for the engine there, and you can, of course, right-click on the engine and tell them to attack the engine. And um, once again, scavenging some people, got to get those AT grenades. And um, really big, big mistake, I think, moving forward here when he knows I'm hanging out behind like these buildings. Um, of course, a very big mistake, me just running straight at it, and he was ready for me. And just decimated my infantry, like that was brutal. That's a 50 cal on top of the Sherman, or a 30 cal. I don't know what it is, but it cut me down, cut me to ribbons. Um, and boom, finally destroyed the turret, but that actually didn't kill anybody either, and my pack 40 dies, but luckily I have another pack 40, because cha-ching, that's pretty much the end of my money if you look on the right. Uh, yeah, we don't get uh, as much money as they do. Whenever you hear that cha-ching noise, that is them getting money. They get waves of money. We're pretty much limited. Um, I'm not quite sure how the money works. Boom! Uh, yeah, really shouldn't have one on one my pack 40 with his Sherman. He was, uh, he was just hoping to win that one, but yeah. So we've done a fair amount of damage, and they are still not capturing this last giant point. Once they capture this last giant point that I'm protecting, it'll open up the second half of the map that you can see um, that they haven't even started to attack yet. Uh, Lollibo, meanwhile... Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I don't know what I said to provoke that, but Lollibo, meanwhile, has still lost this thing and has not recaptured it. I'm not sure if he's able to recapture the big ones. You can recapture the small ones, but I think maybe once the big one's taken, the small one's unrecapturable. Um, speaking of recapturing the small ones, I was trying that, but um, somehow that guy got shot under the Sherman. Perhaps, you know, his Sherman's low to the ground and there's space under the Sherman, so I think when I went prone, he was able to shoot under <laughs> that one Sherman and kill me. Um, and now he's able to shoot me with infantry. This courtyard is fucking cheap as fuck. And the more of these points I can capture, of course, and hold for the longer, the more our points will take up, and the harder it will be for them to make this many points when we're on the attack. So once again, he's driving up to this corridor of death, and I was going to ambush him, but I get spotted this time because people have started to peek over from Lollibo's side. Really? What have you been spending on? Um... I think I was saying I'm out of money, because I'm out of money. Look, I can't buy anything. I can buy tank crew, that's all I can buy. Um, so this is it. Yes, a hundred. This is I barely spent any. Yeah, this is it, as far as money I have, for the rest of this round. My mind's stupid. Until... Fuck me! He disabled the AT mines. Huh. Um, hey look, my mines that I laid quite a while ago did something, and once again it looks like he was sprinting. This is hilarious. Because he just got really hurt. Um, yes, this is the last money I'm going to have for this entire match. Um, unless, you might get more money when they capture the first set of points, I'm not sure if you do. 